Climbers sometimes have to build anchors in snow, and these are known as dead man anchors. Dead man anchors are useful in many situations. For example, as an anchor to perform crevasse rescue, as a belay anchor in steep snow, or as a rappel anchor to cross a bergschrund. We tested different types of dead man anchor. First, we tested the anchors that are regularly employed by the French professional mountain rescue teams, and then we went on to test the different types of makeshift anchor used by alpinists. We carried out these tests beneath the Cosmic's hut, next to a small 40 meter high cliff, which allowed us to install a bomb-proof anchor in the rock for the winch and the measuring device. It was an ideal location because we had this rock anchor right next to the snowfield. We tested snow stakes of various shapes and sizes, and also skis, ice axes, a plastic bag, bottles, anything that we can imagine might be used to make a rappel or belay anchor in snow. One very important factor that we were able to measure this morning was the influence of the angle at which a snow stake is placed on the strength of the anchor. When placed at an angle of 25 degrees, the anchor proved to be 40 to 50 percent stronger than one placed perpendicular to the surface. So it's really very important to ensure that a snow stake is placed at an angle of 25 degrees to the perpendicular. Snow stakes can either be placed with the edges of the side walls pointing in the direction of pool or with the curved face pointing in the direction of pool. We tested both and our test showed that generally it was better to place the curved face towards the direction of pool. We tested different types of makeshift rappel anchor. Snow bollards, plastic bottles, plastic bags. We found they held loads of up to 200 to 250 kilos, so enough to rappel from. It's important to clarify that these results are valid for today's snow conditions. It's thawing and the snow's dense and saturated with water, just like in summertime.